How are you doing guys? So a while ago I posted a video on how to save time when working on drum loops using drum racks. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how I made part of that drum rack. So we're gonna focus in on how to remove a kick from a loop. So all we're gonna be doing is lowering the volume when the kick hits at the same time rolling off the low end. And for that, we're gonna use three plugins. The Shaper plugin, Utility plugin, and EQ8. So to start, let's group all these plugins together by selecting them all and pressing Command G. Turn this from low shelf to low cut. Grid to 16, select this shape and draw like this. Press option to curve this line like this, this to 50%, rate to half. So what we want is for this shape of plugin to control the gain amount on the utility. So we do that by pressing map and then pressing gain. So now you can see the gain of the utility is being controlled by the shaper. So now what we want to do is control everything using just one macro. So we open the macros here, select map, select depth, and assign it to macro one, then offset, assign it to macro one, and change this value from minus 100 to 100, and this from 100 to zero. Select frequency, assign to macro one, and change this from 10 hertz to 77, and this from 22 kilohertz down to 400. Select this on-off switch and assign it to macro one and change this from 64 to one and this from 127 to zero. Hit map to apply changes. So now this macro will control a few things at once. It turns on the low cut and starts to filter up at the same time. It also brings down the volume of the first and third beat of every bar. The reason why I do it like that is so you can still hear the claps on beat two and four. So as we bring it back to zero, we return all values to zero and low cut is eventually bypassed. So let's hear what that sounds like. You can hear the kick is officially removed. You can then right click here, color it red, right click, rename, remove kick. And then what you can do is set up a whole load of drum racks to control different parts of your drum loop, like remove the hats, remove the clap. Let me know down in the comments if you want me to show you how to do those ones too. Peace. 